What's up? Today we are going to look into milestones. It's Christian from Vision 6D and we are going to look how we do that with MS Project. On our website vision6d.com slash download you can go and get the basic files to do those tutorials. I have the conventional structure of a project with initiation, a planning phase, then execution and then closing meeting. So what we are going to do now is that during initiation of this project you see that we have an analysis, then we do the budget of the project and then after there is a project approval. The project approval is in the end a decision, so I will mark this as a point that closes the initiation step. To do that, you see that here we have a project approval of two hours. To do that, I will change the two hours to something which is zero day. From this, you immediately see here on the diagram that it has changed to uh, diamond and the date has come. This is showing a milestone. This is how we create a milestone into MS Project. So we showed you one way to, to do it. Now we take down here the closing meeting. That closing meeting is also of two hours, but we would like to leave that time of the, the two hours into the, the project. So for this I'm going to do it through double clicking on the task and within the task I have here the advanced tab in which I can go and you see that I can here down define to mark this task as a milestone. So we'll see now what happens. You see that as it was done for the project approval the milestone is marked as a small diamond and the date beside it but we leave here the two hours. So I think with this you have two examples on how to put the milestones. You, you can add a milestone on a document, on a step that was important. So now you have two ways to do it. Here up I have the timeline and I would like to have my milestone to appear in the timeline. So it's uh, simple. You go again on the task where you have the milestone, right click on it and it's really simple, you go down and add to the timeline. With this you see that we have here up the project approval and we have that milestone on our timeline. I'm going to do the same here with the, the task which is the closing meeting. I will do it in a different way. I double click on it to go into information and there I can go into the general aspect and you see here I can display it on the timeline. So I say OK. Like that, on the timeline concerning the two milestones we've created, we have the project approval and we have here the closing meeting. So now you know about the milestones. There is more. There is another video that will talk about uh, the report with the milestone and another one that will talk about the timeline itself how to do a more complex timeline. For this there is also a complete video about timeline and milestone which is a more complex example that you can watch. You can also go and download the files that will help you and ease your learning with those tutorials. It was a pleasure to meet you through that tutorial, so I wish you all the best. You liked it, you can sum up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Any comments are welcome, questions too, and see you soon in another tutorial. Bye-bye.